tough tape, nice bounce back, but come on. You know we got to circle the wagons around the stocks that are working. And that will keep working, regardless of what's wrong with the system. And there's a lot that's wrong. We want the stocks that have no exposure to the pain in the economy and the credit markets. Where do we want to stay out of? The house of pain. Where do you want to be? House of pleasure. Simple, but not many people are listening. We want something that looks like... The most boring stock in the world? Verizon. Hey, boring's cool. In Cray America, boring's really cool. Nothing that's, go that's going wrong now should be able to touch this company. Yes, remember that bulletproof episode? It's built itself back into one of the pillars of a happy and quiet government blessed oligopoly with an assist from Sprint Nextel, which blew itself up nicely. I don't think anyone anticipated how great a business wireless would be. <laughs> Props department really excelling tonight. Uh, and now Verizon can keep adding more expensive wireless options. Especially now that it's opening up its network to third-party devices. Sorry. People talk about third generation. Uh, I'll pay for it. People talk about third generation wireless. Well, Verizon just selected its fourth generation technology. Which is more widely used than CDMA, which is their current stuff. They're changing the game in wireless. And I think you want to be along for the ride. All aboard! They can pick away a cable. Bios, their triple play, it's growing well, seeing its cost fall. Now to under $800 at home, they can install this stuff much cheaper than they used to be able to. Costs should come down even more. But Verizon's raising price on Fios TV by 12% in 2008. Here's a perfect combination, right? Lowering costs, raising price. And at this point, it's only penetrated half the network with its TV voice and data offering. I should add, by the way, super HD TV that this guy's giving away. Uh, no, it's not really a giveaway. You know, you get it if you subscribe. Well, people don't think like that. They say, wow, I get a free TV if I only have to subscribe. As of the third quarter, Fios passed the 8.5 million home mark. And it's expected to reach 9 million by year end. Although I think they'll be ahead of that figure. The goal is 18 million homes by 2010. Of those 8.5 million homes, 717,000 have adopted. That's right, they've already taken Fios. 1.3 million are Fios, in, uh, Fios TV, I should be. Another 700,000 taking Fios TV. Fios Internet, much more than that. It's in 16 states now. I am telling you this is a huge growth story for this stodgy old company. And if you want to know why Comcast and Time Warner are so low, blame Fios. Oh, how about this? Big fat yield. 3.9%. And you know how I feel about transformational managers. The real reason for Verizon and the spectacular run it's had is that there's a fabulous businessman who understands that his company needs growth. And it needs to offer investors safety, safety like 3.9% yield. This is one of those stocks, I've got to tell you. When you mention this stock, when I see, I see a lot of people, I write, you know, I, I do a lot of book signs. And people ask me for a stock, and I just say, it just kind of, well, who do you pay? Who's your phone bill? You got it. The man behind the stock is Verizon's chairman and CEO, Ivan Seidenberg. I pronounced his name right because his mother corrected me once. And I'm thrilled to be able to bring him on the show today to talk about what's happening at his company and help us with a few questions before I decide this stock deserves, say, uh, three thumbs up. Mr. Seidenberg, welcome back to Mad Money. How you doing, Jim? It's great to be here. Good to have you. Okay. Uh, I thought that Fios would have maybe 400,000 customers by now. You almost have double that. What is making it so people like Fios and are ripping out cable? Well, people love the, the quality of the picture. They love the, the triple play, which is the, the voice and the Internet as well as the television. And they like the ability to, to, frankly, right now with the market, buying all these high-definition televisions, people love to have the comparable uh, network service that gives them the, the full capability of the Internet as well as gives them all of the, the spectacular pictures that you see on these screens. How much are the customers liking that free 19-inch HD TV that I see advertised every 30 seconds? Well, no, well, actually, that's, that program's going pretty well. And the reason behind that program was to give people the, the opportunity to actually see how much clearer the picture is when you have fiber optics and a brand new HD television with it. So it's been a, our marketing people have done a really clever job at, at showing the public 
uh, the power of the pipe. All right. How about offering some entertainment? How about Verizon getting in a little bit of the entertainment game? What we want to do is carry entertainment. I don't think we want to build it or develop it, Jim. I think our view is the bigger the pipe, the, the, the lower the entry barrier is for others to write software and develop programs. And, and Hollywood and, and, the, and Silicon Valley and the like are full of really smart people who know how to, know how to build content. What we want to do is carry it and package it and, and get it to the customer as quickly as we could. Okay, let's switch to cell phones. Uh when you first went to, uh, when you, well, you've been Verizon for years, but did you ever think that text was going to be a big business? Well, and, you know, when you go back far enough and we tell the truth on ourselves, um, we always tend to underestimate the power of new technology. And given that we're in the technology business, we always like the new technology, but we're always surprised at how quickly the customer adapts to it and changes going forward. So, you know, the world we live in today, uh, between the Internet and data and, and wireless, it's a spectacular adjustment that we've had to make to make sure we stay up with consumer demand. What kind of growth rate are you getting in text? Well, uh, the way to answer that is that um, I'm told that we have something like 25 billion text messages that cross our network um, just in the last uh, month alone. So we have this extraordinary, powerful engine. Uh, Wait, which is my two daughters. Right. Well, uh, well uh, hopefully it's no. your two daughters' time. So we have 63 million customers. So I don't a lot know. Of I mean, I, the, the minutes that they're racking up in texting is making me think that maybe you were about to mention them. But that's okay. It shouldn't be personal. It's about business. They may be. Uh, they may be eligible for a special visit from me if they. If they <laughs> oh, if they, well, they do that. love yeah. that. They can't yeah. stand me. Maybe they'd like <laughs> you. Now they watch my show. And, well, they've caught my show. All right, they've seen five. One time they watched my show on their cell phones. How big is video on the cell phone? I think video is going to be a big deal. We now offer the service in uh, something like 60 cities. We're offering nine live channels uh, over our mobile TV service. What I think will happen is people will love to watch little news clips. They'll love to watch little trailers for movies. They'll love to, to watch sports clips. They'll, they'll like to download videos from the Internet. So I think... Uh, TV or video on the little screen, so to speak, will be very popular. I don't think people will watch full-length movies on it, but there's plenty of bursting information, particularly when it comes to mad money, that people can get over there to their phone. Oh, man, I thought the duck would never come down. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right, how about the quadruple play? Everyone's really scared that you're going to now tackle on wireless, and then it's just going to be the cable. It's going to be the cable annihilator. It's going to be like what Mr. T said he was going to do to uh, Rocky. Yeah, well, I think that the uh, the quadruple play is coming, um, but I think what's most important about thinking about the quadruple play isn't so much adding the wireless capability to the bundle. It's the ability that we have to give the customer software that integrates all of the different technologies so that in the long term, what we want to do is make it easier for customers to access any information on any platform, whether they're home, at work, on the road. Uh, or uh, just relaxing someplace on vacation. So the bottom line to this is, yes, the, qu the quadruple play and the software that goes with it will uh, keep uh, the, our cable friends running pretty quickly. Okay, now how about, let's just speak financials for a second. Do you have the capability of continuing to raise that dividend? Because what I like best about Verizon is I can come on this show, tell people to buy it, and I know that it isn't going back to 35, 36, because then it would yield so much more than treasuries. Yeah, well, the dividend's important to us, and the, and the way uh, I would hope our investors would look at it, if you, if you look at 2007, we had a pretty strong year, and what we did in 2007 is we expanded margins. And so when we look out into 2008 and 2009, with all this new technology we're putting in, we have the ability to expand margins, and when you expand margins, as you know, you expand cash flow, and eventually uh, you have the ability to raise a dividend. So we're very confident that we, as we look out in 08 and 09, not only will our top line grow, but we have the capability of expanding margins and therefore delivering great returns to shareholders. You're able to go offer Fios, Philadelphia, Boston, New York, spend a fortune, and still be able to raise that dividend. That's the plan. Unbelievable. All right, one last question. Ringtones, very important. Do you have like a mad money ringtone? Uh, actually, I don't know that, but you know what? It's not a bad idea. The, there you the, go. the big Kramer ringtone might, <laughs> might be a big seller. Yeah. Man, what a guest you are. Okay, that's Ivan Seidenberg. Ivan, thank you so much for coming on. Okay, thank you. Verizon Chairman said, look, it's no surprise. I've been recommending this stock for how many years? And I'm just telling you, reload, pull the trigger. This is the stock for the era. And yes, it's true. I do like it more than AT&T. Take that. Take that. Oh, anyway, stay with Kramer.